This is a typical afternoon at Ashley and Alo Moley's house. But it wasn't always like this. The Moleys were married in 2013 and had dreams of starting a big family. We just wanted a huge family. Me in particular, I just wanted to have a football team of my own. Then came the heartbreaking news. Ashley suffered from a medical condition that doctors said could prevent her from getting pregnant. It was devastating. You know, as a husband, you, uh, you, know, you just don't know what to do, you know? Because you're just always wanting to give your wife everything that she ever wants. And, uh, when her body wouldn't allow it. Uh, that's, that's something that's out of our control. Still, determined to have children, Ashley and Aloe started talking about adoption or becoming foster parents. What if we could help these kids that come from not so good situations and show them what a family should be? They soon learned there were six siblings, four of them with special needs, and they all needed a home. But six children at one time seemed like a lot. But to take in all six, I really had to do some soul searching to see if that was something I was willing to do. I said, we either take all of them or we take none of them because I don't think I could make that choice and say, you know what, split up this family. When we grew up, saying family is the, the biggest thing. And with that, Michael, Brittany, Nicholas, Brianna, JT, and Ty came into their lives as their new foster children. It was awesome. It was something that you've always dreamed of. I mean, when you're little, you play with baby dolls and you're the mom and you want to take care of them and hold them and make sure they're okay and that they feel safe and comfortable. Why do you like to have a lot of brothers and sisters? Love, love them. They just made it so comfortable. Like they made sure that their home was our home. And although they were a foster family, the children took it upon themselves to start calling Ashley and Aloe mom and dad. I come running down and I'm like, did you just call me dad? So like, yeah, dad, I need help with my homework. And that's when it was all worth it. The hospital visits, the, uh, the nights of crying and, you know, just telling my wife. All those times that we'd waited, you know, they called us mom and dad. That's when everything was okay. But there was still one more hurdle, making it permanent and adopting the children. I don't want to just be here for a short run. I want to be here for the long run. 